Welcome to our weekly Forex forecast, and this is for trading for the week of June 28th to July the 2nd, 2021. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with their money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. So in terms of the news, not as much um, nor not uh, as much high impact news as last week. Uh, but starting off here on Monday, we have Fed members, um, so some central bankers here. Essentially, with the central bankers, these ones are not as important. However, anytime uh, they're speaking, they'll, what we are really looking uh, or paying attention to is what their forward guidance is. Um, and Ju uh, Tuesday here, June 29th, um, again, consumer confidence numbers here uh, will be important for uh, the U.S. here. We are expecting a higher number. So if it's in line with this expectation, that is all good. And we're likely to see the U.S. dollar do well. And on Wednesday, again, not a ton of important stuff here. CPI numbers are important. With the CPI, so this is the inflation number, and this is what we have heard a lot of talk about, inflation numbers, just because with all the supply of money out there, uh, the problem is when there's so much supply, there's no value, um, or we don't have as much value for that that commodity. So money, the US, uh, or the uh, actually all currencies have lost value because of oversupply there. So, and that makes things more expensive. And that's what our inflation is. If the inflation keeps going up, the central banks will be forced to take action. And we saw the Fed recently um, cut, uh, moved their um the when they're going to make inter, uh, do the interest rate adjustments they move the timing on that um sooner so that's um, that's the problem with the cpi if the inflation keeps going up they'll be forced to take action and that makes the currency prices go up so this is an important number to pay attention to ecb hasn't done anything they haven't said that they're going to make changes at this point so we will um we will keep an eye on this um, we do have ADP uh, non-farm employment numbers here on Wednesday as well. So these are precursors to the non-farm farm payroll numbers on um, on the on Friday. So this will be an important number. Uh, this is where we can see the market move. Uh, PMI numbers here, Chicago PMI numbers will be important this year as well. So um, if the number comes in higher than expected, that will be a positive sign for the U.S. And then for Japan here, we have final manufacturing PMI numbers. Um, and then a bunch of PMI numbers here on, for the euro on Thursday as well. Um, with the PMI numbers, the better the PMI numbers, the better it is for the currency. So we will keep an eye on this. Any, um, any numbers higher than expected is likely to have a positive impact on euro here. Um, and then we do have OPEC meetings. So if you're trading Canadian dollar or oil, um, OPEC, um, OPEC meetings can have an impact. And again, when the meetings are going on, um, they will be looking for, the journalists will be looking for comments. So any kind of comments coming out of those meetings generally do impact the market as well. So uh, both Canadian dollar and oil. So Canadian, uh, Canada is a big exporter of oil. That's why Canadian dollar will be impacted as well. On Thursday as well in the New York session, we have PMI numbers for uh, the US as well. Same thing applies here. If the PMI numbers are better than expected, that means that we are expecting better retail sales and all of that is positive for the US dollar here. But we may actually see the stock market move up as a result. So US dollar may not have as much of a positive impact. Um, and then Bank of England here as well, uh, same thing, I'm not really expecting much of a change in their stance, but should they start talking more about, um, about tightening the monetary policy, that will be positive for the currency. And then we have ECB um, here as well. The most important thing for the day here on Friday would be the non-farm payroll numbers. These generally tend to be market moving. So if they're the employment, uh, employment is one of the things that the Fed is concerned about. So if the employment numbers start to go up, that will be a good thing uh, for the US, uh, US dollar as well. 
All right, so let's move on to our charts here. We'll start off with our euro dollar. Uh, last time, last week, we had talked about um, talked about the pullbacks here, and as we can see, price has pulled back here. Um, so in this case, um, we do have a a move higher, but we have to be careful here. So there may be a little bit more room to do the upside or it can just turn around from here. So right now I am looking for, so either something like this. So this support resistance level, as we can see coming all the way from, uh, from April of 2018, this is an important support resistance level here. Uh, price had reacted and before it uh, went through here, same thing, we could see a similar reaction here. It could retest this and then drop from here. So basically I'm looking for a bit of a retest higher, 1.1985, but I'm looking, I'm expecting it to come into some sort of a resistance uh, phase trouble here and then go back down. So bias here is neutral, um, neutral to more on the bearish side, but we just have to look for the reaction at 1.1985. So neutral to bearish bias here. First target is the bottom of the candle here, 1.1850. And then second will be 1.1750. So looking for a bit of a move to the downside. We already have that move started here. So now we had the pullback. So now I'm looking for a continuation to the downside. Okay, so euro dollar, euro, uh, this is neutral to bearish. Pound dollar here, this one as well, had the move already right into our resistance level here. Price has dropped since then. And with this, maybe a bit of a move up, but basically looking for a drop. So bias here is neutral to bearish for this one as well. First target will be the base of the candle here, 1.3780. And then second target is 1.3650. So neutral to bearish bias for pound dollar. Aussie dollar here, this one is into resistance as well. However, it could go higher. So watch out for 0 0.7640 level, but the level it's at currently is a good level as well. And with this, as we can see, going all the way back here, price has reacted at this level. Uh, so maybe a little bit further, uh, it could go even all the way into 0 0.7700 as well. So just watch out for that. Um, we have to wait for, wait to see if it's done with the pullback or does it want to continue all the way into 0 0.77. So that's the only thing here, but uh, then I would be looking for a reaction and a potential move lower. Not quite ready yet, so bias at this point is neutral and I would be waiting to see if it, if it goes higher. So Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar here, similar story here as well. As we can see, price has pulled back as we expected, so that, that's good. But now um, it's not quite there. It hasn't uh, started turning around just yet. So in this case, we may get a move higher into 0 0.7120 and then a drop from there. So that's sort of what I'm looking at here. So in this case, a neutral bias and looking for a reaction to the downside here and target would be 0 0.6920. So neutral bias for um, New Zealand dollar as well. Dollar cat here, this one is also going sideways here. So we saw that initial reaction or the drop that we were looking for. So now um, this as well. So all the commodity currencies here, Aussie, New Zealand, dollar cat here, all of these here could go a little deeper. And that's what I'm waiting to see whether they will drop or are, will they continue? Right now, they have not given us an indication that they are ready to turn around just yet. So if you take a look at the daily here, it still is still has some bearishness in it. It's showing that um, it's showing a reaction. It doesn't have full momentum like it did back here. So which shows that it may be ready to turn. Uh, we just need to see a nice bullish candle here to to make sure that it has actually turned. So we just need to wait for that. So this is why bias right now is neutral, but basically I'm looking for a similar reaction here, either something like this 
or we may get a bit of a pop and then a turnaround. So right now, bias is, uh, bias is neutral for dollar cat as well, uh, looking for it to react. Euro pound here, Euro pound has been stuck a little bit in this uh, channel here. Okay, it looks like my chart is, okay, there we go. Um, so this is where we are. So price has been, hasn't really been doing a whole lot here. It looks like it wants to move, but hasn't really made much of a movement here. So this is where we are currently on the weekly basis. We see price has been, prices reacting at the support level, which is a good support level here. We have a bullish pin bar. So in this case, we could see a move all the way into 0 0.8640 level. So something like this. So basically looking for a move higher. So let me just clean it up a bit. So this is what we are looking for here. Uh, something like this, but just keep in mind there's that upward channel here, so it may not go quite as high. Uh, we'll have to watch both of these resistance lines. One is the channel line and one will be the normal support resistance line, but the target here is 0 0.8650, so within this bit of a range, looking for a bullish move here. Uh, Euro Swiss franc, this one is looking uh, bearish as well. We see that price went into the resistance and as we can see here, it is reacting to that level here. So here we are um, and now looking for a drop back into the support level here. So bias here is bearish. Um, we have a nice doji looking for a continuation lower. 1.0870 is the target for Euro Swiss franc. Pound Swiss franc, this one's also looking uh, bearish here. We see price went into the into the resistance here. So this is the range it was trading in for, it's been trading in this range for several weeks now. And as we can see, went to test the top of the range, did, um, did make it through. And then we are back in again here. Nice, uh, nice bearish pin bar on this one. Actually, I really like this one. So bias is bearish looking for price to drop further here. We may see a bit of a pullback here or even into something like this and looking for a drop. 1.2600 is the target. So aiming for the bottom of the range essentially. So this is just a classic range bound move here with a nice signal at the top. So it's looking for a drop. Uh, bearish bias, 1.2600 is the target. Uh, dollar Swiss franc here, this one is also looking bearish here. Actually, no, this one's not bearish, uh, or we have seen a move down here. Now it's struggling. If we go back to the daily here for a second, as we can see, price had dropped here. So this is where we have to be careful with this. It's at a current support level, and it's reacting to that level. If it doesn't go through, then we will look for a move higher. But there's this all this a big inefficient move. We'll have to see if it holds above here, then we're looking for basic continuation higher. At this point, I am neutral on this one. It does look like it may pull off of that support, uh, but not quite ready yet. So the, another one will have to watch out. So neutral bias, I am looking for it to basically go higher towards the top first. Uh, 0 0.9240 is where I'm looking for this one to go to. Pound yen here, pound yen also not doing much. It went all the way up. So we had move down and then all the way up. So it's just been sideways. Um, it's been very choppy here. Now we see that price is struggling at the top again. And this is where we are likely to see a drop. But again, we'll have to keep an eye on things here. Um, it's not quite clear yet, no clear direction with this one. So neutral bias for pound yen. I'm looking for a move back towards uh, 1, uh, 152.50 is the first target and then 151.25 is the second target. Euro yen here, this is struggling. We saw this big drop um, down when Fed announced the, the monetary policy change and then this pullback as we had expected. So now looking for that continuation to the downside. So this is the daily chart as we this is basically what I'm looking for here. Now going over to the weekly here, same thing as we saw with the pound, we got that pullback now. It's into that resistance. So this is good. 
Now we just need to wait and make sure it does stay and then looking for that continuation lower. So neutral to bearish bias for this one here and first target is 131.65. Actually, let's say 131 and then 130. So those are the two targets to the downside. We just need to watch it on the daily to make sure that it holds below 132.65. Otherwise, then we are back into the highs again. So neutral to bearish here. Dollar yen here, this one's still looking, has that bullishness to it. As we can see, still holding on to that uh, upward trend there. Moving on to the weekly chart here. Um, with this, it's into resistance. So that's the only thing we have to watch out for, but still looking bullish. So next target here is 111.70. Uh, just a little caution though, just because price is into resistance. Aussie yen, um, Aussie yen on the daily here, this one is struggling with the 64.20 level, which is our support resistance level that we were watching for a pullback. And um, now again, it's struggling. It's not quite, um, it's struggling, but it's not quite changing directions yet. So this is why with this one, again, we'll have to be a little patient here. What we are wanting to see is it holds here and then we want to see a drop. But uh, for the time being here, uh, patience <laughs> will be necessary on the weekly. As we can see, we see this big pullback here and it's right into our resistance level. The problem is the second resistance level is right there as well. And this is where we have to wait and see, does it go here or will it just turn around from here? So right now it's trading in a range. This is the overall range that it's been stuck in. So it could go higher. So neutral bias here, we just need to give it a little bit of time to see if it's going to turn around where it is currently, or it's gonna go all the way into 85.40. So it's actually, yeah, so it's currently at 84.20. So there is a bit of room here. That's why we just need to be patient. So right now, neutral bias, um, watching 84.20 level. If it holds below, then we are targeting 82.20. New Zealand yen, this is very similar here as well. Both of them have been strong this week. It's reacting for the last two days. Um, hasn't really moved very much. However, we don't see a bearish candle yet, not even a small insignificant one, which means there's still that bullish momentum and it ha it's not quite, um, hasn't quite turned yet. So we just need to wait for it to turn, just a little bit of patience. So this is what I'm looking for basically. Once it holds here, I'm looking for price to come back down. Uh, back into 77.65 and then lower. So looking at it from the weekly perspective, um, let's take a look as so weekly here, as we can see, it's been pulling back. Now the problem is it can go all the way into the resistance and this is why we have to wait. So it may do one of these. So right now, neutral bias, I'm waiting uh, to see if it will go all the way into 78.80 and then um, we may see a drop from there. So neutral bias for this one, and we just need to wait it out. CAD yen here, CAD yen in a similar scenario, it is into resistance on the daily. And it's, it is, this one looks a little bit better than the New Zealand dollar and Australian dollar did just because we have that small bearish candle and it is making lower highs, but it doesn't have as much strength in terms of the, uh, the, turn in momentum there. So at this point, again, neutral bias here, this one could go higher as well. So this here and 90.70 is a good support resistance level. So we just need to wait and see if it goes there or is it ready to turn from where it is. In that case, we will look for this move. But again, just going to give it a bit of time here to see how it wants to go. So neutral bias for CAD yen as well. All right, so moving on to our commodities here. So from commodities perspective on the daily chart here, um, these ones, it's struggling. So we had this big inefficient move to the downside and now can it go back up? So let's take a look. Uh, price has pulled back here. Now it could pull back higher. And this is where it on the daily, it didn't look that strong in terms of momentum in either direction. Didn't look very bearish, didn't look 
super uh, bullish either. It was sort of in between trying to make its way higher. So in this case, a neutral bias here is still. Now it could turn from where it is, but it could go up a little bit further and uh, move back down. So this is what I'm looking at here, uh, looking for it to, to see if it would go into 26.65 level here. So right now, uh, bias is neutral uh, for our silver here. Uh, gold here. Uh, gold, similar situation here on the daily. It's been going sideways, just like it got stuck in a sideways move here before it went higher with the uh, continuation of the previous trend. We are seeing a similar scenario here. It's just sideways at the moment. No clear direction um, here either. So it pulled back. So this is our weekly. And as we can see, it pulled back into this previous support resistance level, which is a good level. And from here, I am looking to see if it will drop here. So neutral um, to slightly bearish bias here. First target would be the first target is 17, 17.55. And then we're looking at price to drop further towards 17.21. The only thing to watch out here would be the, the 1809 level, if it gets through this, it can go all the way up there and then drop. So just watch out for that. Um, let's say, um, so right now, a neutral to bearish bias. The first target is 17.55. Second target, 17.21. Okay. Um, oil here, oil is looking bullish. And with oil though, just keep in mind, we have those OPEC meetings and those could sometimes cause problems because um, of the disagreements that we may see in there. But right now, looking bullish, 75 is the first target and 76.85 is the second target. Copper here, copper is going sideways. Um, it did go all the way into the resistance and now looks like we may see a drop. It's struggling here though. Um, and going to our weekly, as we can see, there's that pullback that we were expecting. And now this may, it may be time for it to continue lower. So looking for something like this, 4.04 is the target here for copper. So neutral uh, to slightly bearish here as well. Bitcoin here, Bitcoin has been struggling. Uh, so couldn't really so we saw that drop here, initial break that we got there. Now it's holding below. Uh, this is not the current, the current price is 33,156. So 33,150, so it's right over here somewhere, but it's, it's holding in this um, little range, which is bearish. So basically overall it's making lower highs and that is bearish. Next target here is 28,750. So bearish bias for Bitcoin. S&P 500 still looking bullish here. Not huge momentum um, on terms of the in terms of the daily, but still bullish. So 4,300 is the first target, and then 43 and 44. So 4,350 to 44 will be the second one there. Nasdaq um, again still has that bullishness. Um, overall neutral to bullish bias here as well, 14,500 is the target for NASDAQ. Dow Jones also looking bullish. And in this case, our target is 34,850. So on the, on the weekly here, it's definitely bullish. Um, so 34,850 will be the target to the upside here for Dow Jones as well. And then DAX here is kind of sideways, uh, still trading in that range. We do have that bullish candle close. So this one could go higher all the way into 15,785. So neutral, but overall it's been stuck in this range, uh, this little sideways move for quite some time. So looking for it to go towards the top there. FTSE as well, looking bullish right now. And target here would be 7,200. So bullish bias for FTSE as well. And Nikkei here, Nikkei seems to be struggling. It's sideways here, it did go back up. Now um, we could see a move back towards 29,000. 
So basically top over here. Uh, so that's what we will watch out for. So 29,275 and 29,500. So bullish bias for Nikkei as well. All right, so there were a couple of questions in um, for Aussie dollar and pound Aussie, pound Aussie. So Australian dollar has done well and pound has not done that great this week. Um, so pound Aussie is likely to be bearish here. Uh, with the pound Aussie though, keep in mind, we are very close to the support. So zooming out a bit here, this is where we are. So this is solid support resistance level and it could go lower into 1.8175. So this looks bearish on the daily and on the weekly here. So let's go back in. So this is where we are. So we have a nice solid bearish candle close. Um, however, it has to go through this support resistance level and it's a bit of a zone of support resistance level because it could go essentially it's between so between 1.8250 and 1.8175, this level. So basically bearish here, uh, just with a little bit of caution uh, because it could churn here. So right now I will look for a drop towards a support at 1.8175, then watch out here because this, this is where we could see that turn. But if it gets through this one, then we are targeting back down here because this, this move will get filled. So we just need to wait. So generally the struggle usually comes here to break through this. Once it breaks though, then that path becomes clear. So bias here is bearish here for pound Aussie and first target would be 1.8175. Then you could go all the way down here. Um, all right, so the other question was in regards to Aussie dollar. Aussie was neutral. Um, we were waiting for it to, it could pull back slightly higher into 76.65. And from there, so something like this, this is where we have to wait on Aussie uh, because it's not clear, it's not quite ready to turn yet. We just have to give it a little bit of time. So it's, uh, it, it is at that level where it could turn from where it is currently, but it could also go slightly higher into this next support resistance level. Okay, so overall though, neutral to bearish bias for this one as well. Uh, so question here, um, the ones that are neutral, what are we waiting? So basically, um, so they're neutral because uh, they don't, haven't shown us a clear direction yet. So if where we look at pound and Aussie, uh, sorry, pound and Euro, we actually see bearish candles. The problem with the neutral ones is that they can sometimes pop up before they drop. And that's why we have to wait. So we are waiting, it's just, they're just, you know, not quite ready yet. So it's not anything in particular they're waiting for. Um, it's just, you know, when the market starts to turn, they will turn as well. We just have to give it some time. But there's no, any, no particular event or anything that uh, will make them change directions. They'll just kind of fall in line. As right now, there is nothing in particular that we have to wait for. All right, you are welcome. Any other questions, you guys, before we wrap it up here? Okay, so no questions. You guys have a wonderful trading week and I will be back with a daily analysis tomorrow. You're welcome. Bye for now.